And tracking the tropics, you may have noticed a bit of a haze in our skies recently, and believe it or not, it was dust, Saharan dust. Joining us now, Chief Meteorologist John Gahn and Meteorologist Danielle Giuliano on how this dust affects our hurricane season. Danielle, how could Saharan dust in Florida impact the development of tropical systems? Well, talking about that Saharan dust, Ken, it starts off the coast of Africa. If we take a look at our satellite right now, the tropics are very, very quiet. Not a lot happening whatsoever. In fact, no tropical activity is expected over the next two to five days. But if we take a zoomed out look and go back over the mid-Atlantic off the coast of Africa, this is where you get the dust. It gets picked up off the coast. We have high winds and very dry air that travels across the mid-Atlantic, thus not allowing any tropical systems to develop. We need moisture, we need warmth, and it doesn't allow that. This dust travels all the way across the Atlantic to the Caribbean and then makes its way most of the time into the Gulf and into those Gulf states, which we see almost yearly here. This past weekend, it was just a little bit of a haze in our sky. You kind of noticed it at sunset and at sunrise. Sometimes you get even bigger conditions where you see visibility drop and everything like that because it's so dusty outside. Thankfully, we haven't seen that yet. And it's allowed us to be very quiet over the last week or so. In fact, we've been very very quiet through June and July, and that's not uncommon. If we look at our trends here, June and July are very low for tropical activity. It's not until the end of August heading into September that we start to see that pick up. In fact, peak hurricane season is September 10th, so still a little over a month away. So there is a possibility that we could start to see those storms start to pick up here just a little bit. And if we take a look at the formation zones for where those storms could possibly develop for the month of August, where it's most common, here's what we see. The Eastern Atlantic and coastal North America locations are fair game for tropical development here in August. So that's this color and kind of teal. Then we take it a step further. Formation and associated impacts are more likely from the Central Atlantic to the East Coast here in August. And then we take it one more step further here as well. Formation and associated impacts are most likely near the Caribbean islands and the Bahamas in August. So that's something we're going to be watching for the next month or so. But again, it's been very quiet lately. Saharan dust is one of those factors. But Chief Meteorologist John Gahn is joining me now because there are other factors that really impact the hurricane season, John. One of those being La Nina conditions, water temperatures, water temperatures. all of the above. Yeah. And again, Saharan dust, it gets lifted up because that Saharan desert is super hot. So air rises when it's hot and when that air can be pushed off towards the west, well, then it gets pushed right towards the United States, and that's what we saw. We actually had a very dusty Friday night. Beautiful blue skies here today, but that was the, the shift. Note this little blue strip here. We're looking at water temperature anomalies. Notice a little red strip there. It is supposed to, neither one of those are supposed to be there in their forecast when it, come, when it came to the upcoming season, but that's what we're seeing, and what that means is that now with cool water here, we get high pressure right in through here, it spins like my hand, and it's just grabbing that dust and pushing it west, and grabbing and pushing it west, and when it does so, it's really killed off the season. And then there's this little batch of warm water that's not supposed to be there either, and those two right here, maybe more than enough to really put a dent in the hurricane season forecast that'll be out there. And one of the big ones will be coming up here soon. So putting it all together, the dust that we have seen here recently is common. And yet at the same time, it tells the atmosphere is too dry for tropical storm formation. Water temperatures are a big deal and Colorado State will have its big new update for the season coming up on Thursday. It'll be interesting to see if they make any changes at all. Keep in mind, they're forecasting a top five season of all time. That's a big number to be making and not seeing a lot going on, at least not yet.